Well, now, as we said, the show's pretty much gone to the dogs today. We're talking about little dogs, big dogs, scruffy dogs, happy dogs, silly dogs, all kinds of them, right? Uh, they're all celebrated at the Kentuckiana cluster of dog shows happening right now at the Kentucky Fair and Expo Center. And this morning, we're joined by Debbie Hibbard, uh, who is at the show. I see you have a friend there with, uh, with you for this interview. Who just grab the dog walking by. That's how you do it. Ava, she's, she's a French bulldog. She's a French bulldog. What's her name? Uh huh. Her it's name's Ava. Ava? Ava. <laughs> you had to look Hi, to the Ava. side there. I, I don't know her, her name. <laughs> Ava's looking good. Ava's doing great on camera. You, you know, tell us a little bit. I mean, you guys must be, first of all, really excited to have the dog show back in person. Oh, we are. And I'm going to put Ava down. All okay. right, thank you. So, um, yes, we are so excited. We closed down very abruptly in 2020. Thousand dogs this weekend competing in several different areas. Tell us a little bit more about the Kentuckiana cluster of dog shows. How many different breeds are there? And then we can see them over, over your shoulder there, over your left-hand shoulder, right. already competing. Um, like, what kind of, what do they have to do to show off their style and their look? Oh, okay. So, because this is such a large show, we, the American Kennel Club recognizes almost 200 different breeds of dogs. And we probably have almost every breed here, including some rare breeds that you not only never heard of, but you couldn't begin to pronounce the name of it. Um, it we have three clubs giving the different shows, and um, we actually have dogs. I looked at the statistics yesterday, and we have dogs from every state in the United States, as well as dogs from Canada, from Mexico, and even Europe and Asia. Oh, what this a great turnout, yeah. The, this is a destination spot for dog shows because it is just so big. We have a lot, what you see behind me is the bulk of the show, it's confirmation. It's where the dog is judged against its breed standard. But we also have agility, which is basically uh, an obstacle course that people like to really watch. We have an event called dock diving, which is just what it sounds like. The dogs jump into a pool of water. And we have a new event this year called Fast Cat, which is basically a 100-yard dash. And most dogs love that because they like to chase. They chase a paper, uh, plastic bag, but that's good enough for them. And then we have obedience and rally as well. Oh, Debbie, we're looking at the video here, and I mean, it is just priceless to see. I mean, some of these dogs, I mean, they, they are done up. I mean, you probably really see some stuff, don't you? Uh, yeah, I mean, some breeds are what we call wash and wear breeds. Uh, other dogs take hours to prepare. Uh, not too, some of these dogs don't look anything like uh, this at home. Um, yeah, some of them go to the beauty shop quite uh, regularly, and again, others, you, you know, Pet them and take them into the ring. Right, this is their pageant look, right? This is the, the done up exactly. showtime exactly. look. And you know, we welcome people to come out this weekend. Today is free if you can make it. And then the rest of the days, it's $5 for uh, children and senior citizens, $10 for adults, and we have a $20 pass for families. We only ask that you leave your pets at home. Mm. Uh, Unentered dogs are not allowed on the grounds, and to be quite honest, it's so loud and it's so confusing and so packed that most of your dogs at home would not be happy here. No, no, and probably distracting for the dogs that are performing too, right? Well, they actually, they, they <laughs> the dogs behind me, it looks like they're just running in a circle. But they're actually trained to do that. It's not as easy as it looks. Debbie, I'm always so impressed with just the level of detail from the training to the grooming that, that goes on with these dogs. I mean, it, it is it is an amazing show, uh, but it's also more than just dog show, too. There is shopping and everything going on around you as well. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yes, we have people come to the show to shop as well. We have over 60 vendors. We have everything from expensive jewelry for you as well as clothes for your dog. I mean, we have all kinds of stuff. So feel free to come out and check it all out. You can walk in and out of the grooming areas, talk to people, meet their dogs. And it's a great way, you know, the advantage of having a purebred dog is that they have breed characteristics that, you know, that you can't change those breed characteristics. And you may think you want a certain breed and then you discover, oh, no, this is not 
going to put my lifestyle. So you can come out here and at least start to meet these different types of breeds. You may see something that you've never seen before. Um, like I said, we have some very rare breeds here this weekend too. And you know, everything starts at eight o'clock in the morning. We're here all day long. And um, you know, it's a great way to spend the day. Debbie, thank you so much. It's just great to have you guys back. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much. Yeah, we will remind everybody the 2022 Kentuckiana cluster of dog shows starts. Uh, it's, it's starting actually today. If they can get on out there, run through Sunday at the Kentucky Expo Center for a full schedule of programming and more information. Visit Kentuckiana cluster of dog shows .org.